Hi, I'm J.V. Johnson, co-host of Beyond Reality Radio with Jason Hawes. Presented here for your enjoyment is an interview with Josh Gates. You know him from TV shows like Destination Truth or Expedition Unknown. Josh has seen some amazing things and had some very amazing experiences, and we discuss them all here. The interview will be broken into segments for easier viewing. Please watch for all of the segments as they're posted. If you like the interview, please take a moment and visit my social media sites. You can find me on Facebook at JVJ Paranormal. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for additional videos. It's youtube.com slash C slash JV Johnson. Thank you so much, and please enjoy Beyond Reality Radio's discussion with Josh Gates. And tonight it's Beyond Reality Radio with Josh Gates as well. Thank you to everybody who's joined us in the chat room and listening around the country on the great radio stations carrying the program or listening online anywhere in the world. We appreciate you being with us. All right, so tonight we are talking with my good friend Josh Gates. Sorry about that random text I just sent you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Still there? Did we lose Josh Did we lose again? Him again? I think we've lost him again. How does this happen? I don't know. I don't know. But we do have uh, a lot of callers, and I'm going to go to the phone lines right now and uh, bring in. This is Eric from California, because I know uh, one of his questions is for you, Jay. So, Eric, okay. welcome to the program. You're on Beyond Reality Radio. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Welcome to the show. I'm doing great. Actually, uh, I wanted to know what you guys, is, as a collective, what your most terrifying paranormal experience has been. Uh, most terrifying paranormal experience. Um, most of our cases are actually, uh, they're, they fall under confidentiality agreements. They're not aired. And, but, um, we handle cases, we'll go and do preliminary investigations on so-called possessions, uh, demonic type hauntings, things like that, of course, are terrifying. Anytime you get involved in a case that, that involves the occult, that's another uh, terrifying situation because you know, a lot of times they know who you are, but you don't know who they are or you know, to what extent they're involved in. So it, the paranormal doesn't terrify me. It, it's a lot of it's the living that you got to look out for. The dead, the dead really can't hurt you. Oh wow! So hopefully that answers that for yeah. you. Yeah, that does. Um, and then I had another question. This one is for Josh. Okay. Okay, well, we're getting Josh back on here as we speak, so we should be ready with him in a second. Let me just check with Eddie. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. So let's bring Josh in. Josh, uh, welcome back for the third time. I would just like to say <laughs> that I am on a landline that has been working great all day. You are I, on a landline. I'm so sorry. I have no idea. There's a ghost in the machine. Obviously tonight. <laughs> very very uh, strange. Well, Eric from California has a question for you. Hit me. Hey there. I was uh, I was actually wondering um, for you. When you were um, when you've been searching for treasure, have you ever felt like you were actually really close to finding it, or is most of the time you've just always felt like you were just just out of reach of maybe getting like one stone unturned and you just couldn't find it? Totally depends on the story. We've had um, really amazing experiences where we have either been looking for something ourselves or been in the company of archaeologists or treasure hunters who found really incredible stuff. Uh, you know, we've we've dredged some really awesome, beautiful pieces uh, out of the swamps and the sands and the oceans over the last few years. Um, we did a great show on uh, King uh, King John's Lost Crown Jewels a couple of years ago or last year. Found these beautiful old, you know, uh, medieval seals and these uh, you know stamps and symbols and little you know carved items. These incredibly beautiful historic things. We worked alongside a, a team a couple years ago looking for this lost tomb of uh, a really famous sultan. Uh, and we found these, these stones, and they were really confident that we were right at the edge of his tomb, and, and it turned out that as they continued to dig, in fact, they were. And so this, that was a huge discovery that we were a part of uh, finding this, this lost tomb. So sometimes it's big discoveries, sometimes it's little stuff. Sometimes, yeah, I, I feel like we're we're close to stuff, and and we, we don't have enough time to really uh, find what we're looking for. There's a, a real uh, awesome episode, I think, this season that we're that we're doing in the in the uh, season that's going to be airing uh, later this year, where I became really obsessed with the thing that we were looking for, and it was just kind of out of reach for me the whole time, and it drove me nuts because I really felt like we were close to it. So. It depends on the it depends on the story. 
Eric, thanks for the call. Thanks for watching the interview with Josh Gates on Beyond Reality Radio. I'm JV Johnson. Be sure to stop by my Facebook page at JVJ Paranormal. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. It's youtube.com slash C slash JV Johnson. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.